Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, this is not going to be a very technical speech. Don't be worried. I'm not going to talk about how to tweak the user interface. Other people are going to tell it bef better. But uh, you may have seen uh, the announcement that we have done uh, about the user interface concept. And I wanted to, as this has been extremely successful in terms of positioning, uh, I wanted to uh, give a little background on this uh, and especially as a thank to the developers and the designers that have uh, provided the solution because of course uh, when you speak about software if you don't have the product uh, you cannot do any announcement. So, uh, from my side, uh, uh, being the person that is after marketing of LibreOffice, uh, a big thank to all the, the developers and the designer. And Heiko is uh, is back on uh, on the corner, but I think he's uh, he's been uh, one of the key people. We have had quite strong discussions, but I think that at the end uh, the result was extremely positive. So we. We, we, it's very, I'm, I'm going very quickly through the slides. We have a very complex uh, user scenario at the moment. We have, we go from people that is using uh, laptops to uh, CRTs on, uh, on old screens to wide screens to uh, uh, mobile screens. Uh, and uh, the, the user interface has to answer everything. And, uh, we have different generation. I think they're, they're all uh, in this room. I'm probably the only one here, but the, the, all the others are in, in, in the other generation. And uh, if we look at how many PCs have people in uh, different generation, you think you see that even uh, people that is over their 70s starts to have an, uh, uh, an, in, an interesting number. So it's more than 25%. And of course, they have a uh, side problem uh, that make the user interface a very important uh, and you have to answer in a flexible way their needs. And if you look at screen sizes, this is amazing. These are the, the top, uh, I think, uh, 20 screen sizes and you see that no one is having uh, uh, an adva a real advantage. So the, the 1366 by 768, which is wide, is 19.1, but then you see all the others are very, uh, they have tiny, tiny percentages, so that we cannot count on a, on a single screen size. And these are computer skills by the OECD. Uh, these have to be interpreted uh, because it tells that, for instance, in Japan, over 40% can't use computers. It, the reality is that the, the language in this case says they cannot control their computers when they're using it. So they depend from the computer, they do not, they are not able, and so the user interface is extremely important because if you are not able to get in, to, to, to manage your computer, then you depend from the user interface from what you are able to do. And uh, these are skills versus age. And of course, you can see that skills go down, but they they are not down to nothing. So it's uh, it's it was very important to have a user interface that was flexible enough to uh, to answer to everything, uh, to all the needs. So you know that with 5.3 that we have announced a few days ago, we have introduced uh, the uh, the notebook bar. So now we have uh, at least three different options, uh, which is the uh, traditional uh, uh, user interface with the uh, bar on top and the sidebar on the side. We have the, this, this is what people, most people have seen in the last few years uh, using LibreOffice. Uh, we have a more streamlined user interface without the sidebar and uh, with a more sizable toolbar on top. And, and now we have the notebook bar. The notebook bar is an horizontal bar on top of the screen. Uh, of course, uh, this is uh, uh, similar to what most users of Microsoft Office are seeing on the screen uh, since version 2007. Uh, so that is, uh, but we wanted to have a positioning for that. Uh, 
And of course, this is something that we have uh, tried to uh, emulate the good marketing uh, or of uh, proprietary uh, software companies. So we have called our interface Muffin. Some people think that this is a cupcake, but we call it Muffin, okay. So it's my user-friendly and flexible interface, and of course my, because it's personal, user-friendly because it's user-friendly, you don't need to explain it. It's flexible because you have different options, and, and it's the interface. And uh, I think that uh, next slide shows the it's on, the, on our blog after the announcement. It was amazing. So these are the eats after the announcement on the, of the user interface. And uh, these are the eats after the announcement of the 5.3. So you see, and, and, and this is why I think it's important to, it, it, people may think that announcing the user interface may be a minor thing. It was not minor at all. 80,000 page views in one day. Well, usually we are around 15,000, so it was four or five times as many. And this is thanks to the work of, what I said, developers that have made the user interface workable and designers that have made the user interface up and as it is. And uh, I've tried to put everything together, but uh, I think that the merit is on the technical side, because again, if you don't have something that works, you cannot announce anything. And I think I've been a lot shorter than supposed I'm over. If you have questions, but don't ask me about technical stuff on the user interface. Other people are able to answer these questions. So I'm finished. It was not hard. But I think if you have questions on, on the user interface, we have the people that have made it possible. So you can ask technical questions, and I think people is uh, able to answer them, not me. <laughs>